So they say there are two types of designers. Type A, who has their layer studio organized like this. And type B, whose layers panel looks like this. Complete mess. If you're like me, more of a type B designer, I have a good news for you. All you have to do, at least for now, is to go to the settings tab, then user interface and toggle the switch named ask for name when creating layers and groups. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to group a few shapes. Let's make it the moon and stars. Use the command G shortcut for grouping. And now Affinity Designer asks us for the name of the group. It's as simple as that. Affinity Photo, same thing. Toggle the same switch in settings. And there you go. Naming the groups and layers might be annoying at first, but you will quickly get used to it and it will become natural. Publisher, you guessed it, same thing. It's a good idea to set it on all your Affinity apps to maintain a uniform workflow. It's available on Windows as well. Go to Edit, then Settings, and you already know what to do. And last but not least, iPad. The settings icon is in the lower left corner of the screen. Naming your groups and layers on the go will significantly improve your layer studio. Of course, you can always cancel instead of providing the group name, only adding an unnecessary step to your workflow. But then, there's just no hope for you.